Trey, we can go back with Tom Jackson, uh, Mark Slareth, and Chris Mortensen. Look, I don't think he was saying concussions weren't being taken seriously. I think he was raising a voice that he didn't believe the NFL was really taking it seriously. Chris, what's your take on this? What are you hearing from league sources about this article? Well, the, the NFL began taking it seriously just in the past 12, 14 months or whatever. I know Roger Goodell actually met with even our own Merrill Hodge a couple of years ago to start addressing it, admitting basically that it, they have kind of put it, put it off to the side. To talk to some of the issues that Heinz mentioned in that article, in terms of health care, on the table right now is to, a proposal to get health care from post five years to post 10 years. The lifetime health care, I think the union's having a hard time getting their younger players to focus on those things because it comes out of the pot, the, the, the pot, the cost, right. the pie, so to speak. Then the other thing is mandata mandatory helmets. Yes, I think that's coming. Yes. Mandatory pads like knee pads, thigh pads. I think that's coming. There's a lot of things on the table that are going to address those issues, but certainly the concept of 18 games is one that is really bothering a lot of football people in the league and I would say players, obviously. Well, listen, the Rooney family has already come out and said they don't want any part of that. And we'll get to that as the labor discussion c continues in a little bit. But, Mark, listen, you know, I think I don't think that Heinz Ward is the only player that feels perhaps the league is being a bit disingenuous here with some of the things they're doing about the concussions. Right. You've talked about this for a lot of years. There's no question about that. And when the league starts talking about, hey, thigh pads and knee pads because of all the devastating thigh injuries that are keeping guys from playing games, I mean, come on, get real. You know what? We talk about helmets, mandatory helmets. We talk about mandatory mouthpieces. We talk about things that may make a difference in the concussion battle. But I think the one thing that really rubs me the wrong way, and I think most players the wrong way, is when you start taking money away from guys like James Harrison to the tune of over $100,000 for hits that an NFL player cannot avoid there's nothing you can do about it we all Tommy as players and former players we understand spearing we understand things that are cheap we can police that but there are some times that this game during the course of this game it is played with such speed such athleticism that you can't avoid some of those things you can't avoid some of those hits when I'm coming in to, to just square you up in the chest Somebody and all of a sudden you lower your head that can't be avoided and for the NFL to start finding guys and taking money away from players for that that says to us as players you guys are garbage that's not that's not fair and there's nothing we can do about it well I think the league having a very hard time figuring out how to control the concussions on the field in a violent game like football I think though for Heinz Ward you, you need to remember everything is relative if you think they don't care about concussions now you should have been around when I played yeah when, when they really had no idea you know what a concussion could do in your future uh, they really didn't care because we didn't make the kind of money that made them care now you have to always remember it's a business I think as we go forward as the money is being made by the players you will there's always that combination of the money and the care it's it just is a business it's going to go together they care ne more now than they did before i, I do want to see how they're going to pull this off because the one thing that's been consistent behind the scenes is says we are in the process of changing the culture of how these guys play football i don't know how they pull that off and they, how are you going to do by it by the way and i was told everything is on the table including the fact that they may eliminate kickoff returns because that's where some of your most violent collisions come now is that going to change the game so dramatically that we even can enjoy this game the way we used to i, I think this is going to be a very interesting offseason this year in the next offseason as they go through these changes and whether or not they impact the game and how. In terms of taking money away, by the way, one of the ironies that the Steelers are here, and we were right. talking about this before, Trey, right. is that you know, they're the establishment team probably in the NFL. Right. And the NFL is the establishment. So here are the Steelers who were attacked more than anybody by the league, and yet the Rooney family, which is an establishment owner ownership, have attacked the league as well with the amount of fines. And as you know, Dan Rooney, one of the greatest voices in this league said, you can take that 18-game schedule thing, and keep your money, and shove it, basically. Well, well that's the issue. Listen, because uh, that's the dichotomy that I think a lot of fans and players and former players are having a problem with. How can you say we're so concerned about concussions and helmet helmet hits, but we want to add two more games? <laughs> and the uh, commission always says, well, within the 20-game module. But 16 plus 4 is not the same as 18 plus 2 in no. terms of 18 no. regular well, season no. games no. and two preseason no, games. No, certainly not. And I certainly. think one of the things you have to understand about that, too, as a veteran player, if all of a sudden they eliminate two preseason games, guess what I have to do as a veteran? 
I've got to get ready to play exactly. the 18 game schedule. So now that 18 game schedule with the two preseason games really becomes a 20 game schedule because I'm going to have to play the majority of both of those preseason games to get myself ready to play the regular season. So it is one of those things where you can't have your cake and eat it too. And that's exactly what the NFL is doing in, in regards to this concussion issue to the 18 game well, schedule it, issue. It, it, I mean, Roger Goodell has even told me, he said, hey, if they want 16 games and two regular preseason games, fine, but we're eliminating two preseason games. But then there'll be a smaller revenue pie. So they play that game. Well, yeah, preseason games think... aren't the same. Yeah, right. Preseason games aren't the same. It, 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 I think that when you look at the injuries yeah. this year, the magnitude of the injuries, the number of injuries, it, it's going to be hard. That's going to be a hard sell. One, 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 one phrase you just said, smaller revenue pie. I don't think that's on the yeah. NFL's radar anytime no, soon. No, okay. and, and, and so the unions counter to, the, okay, shorter off seasons, uh, more helmetless practices, things like that to try to, but still, it's a hard sell, I think, to a lot of football people and players. I think the thing that drives players crazy, though, is when you talk about, hey, you know, it's the integrity of the game. It's these four preseason games, two of them in which we don't really play very well, and that really bothers us, like, we're, this all altruistic organization guess what don't charge fans for those two preseason games how about that again because fans if they buy season tickets have to buy the preseason yeah, absolutely games well. and a lot of stars in the nfl right now got in to the league because they shone and shined in those preseason games a big discussion we can't solve today in 20 degree That's weather right. here in fort worth something the nfl is <laughs> going to have to do going forward